Hi there guys, Panda Seek here with another unfinished failure, this time a close encounter of the comic kind. This project was called Wished Away, and was inspired by Undertale in a way. I still don't know how exactly or why, but I thought of Undertale and felt the need to create a heartfelt story. <laughs> It just ended up turning into a plan for an interactive choose-your-own-adventure webcomic because I was already writing books and I felt like this had to be something visual and I don't feel like I am skilled enough to code a game. I did not get into working out the main storyline, but I did work out a general story, like beginning, middle, end. <laughs> it comes down to that there's a girl who ends up in this mysterious world. See what I mean with Undertale inspired? <laughs> but this isn't the underground, it's the girl's own unconscious. This girl is in a coma, really sad I know, and doesn't remember who she is or who her family was or how to get back home. A magical personification of her mother, whom she lost when she was very young, oh my god this is so sad, would guide her back home along with a little spirit animal called Asha. The girl is later into the comic introduced as May and Asha nicknames her May Wishaway because May was meant to say that she wants to wish away her amnesia so she knows where to go at some point in the story. So basically the idea was that the reader would make decisions for May, where she went, characters she'd meet and ultimately if she would leave go back home and thus wake up and be with her father again or stay and basically die in her coma <laughs> but you would not learn that she was in a coma until you had made that final decision and you basically kill a little girl or not <laughs> I believe I just really made it sound like the reader is supposed to be some super villain in the end <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but is this cruel I don't know, Sans basically told you you were being a fucking dick the entire game at the end of your neutral run, so yeah. Perhaps this is too much of an Undertale ripoff, that's probably why I stopped working on it. It was just too, you know, too close to Undertale, too close to Undertale's release in the middle of the hype, and it was too undertale in its tone with similar to those tons of terrible Five Nights at Freddy's rip-off games that spawned after the first game came out and oh those make me cringe so hard and I didn't want the, this to become that. I didn't want to write a rip-off, just something heartful that was inspired by the game and this didn't really feel like that but maybe I didn't develop it enough you know that I felt too strongly simply because it was a first concept. Because of course it was never intended to be a ripoff, and there are no characters that are, to me, similar to any Undertale characters. Asha was meant to be a bit more like Chip from Sonic Unleashed and Luckat from Wix Club. Anyone remember that show, you know? You know, Luckat was a character back when the show was actually good 10 years ago. <laughs> So I wanted to combine Lacat and Chip, so they would offer advice, comic relief, and that sort of thing to May. <laughs> I hadn't really started working on a main storyline, so there are not many other characters yet, but I do know that I did want to include references to the real world outside of May's head to slightly indicate that this wasn't actually a real place, that it was all in May's head. But then again, even though it's just all in her head doesn't mean it's not real, right, Dumbledore? <laughs> I don't know. This unfinished failure is probably one of the most underdeveloped ones I've had yet. This was my first attempt at making my own webcomic with my own characters and storyline, and eventually in 2016 I started working on Swift Spark in the Defense 5, which I'm currently about 100 pages into drawing, of which 60 pages so far have been released, and there's about 
500 left to go, I don't know, <laughs> but I'll discuss that comic in a new series I'm planning to release sometime this summer, probably, but that's all for later. I just released a channel update that included song covers, so that's on the line first, and then another series will be added fall, summer, around that. And I know that this is a really short video and it has very little context when you put it all on the table. I pretty much just explained the project and said I dropped it because I felt like I was ripping someone else off and that's it. But like with Prince of Darkness, which I talked about in the previous Unfinished Failures video, I do think that this comic has got a shot at getting revived at some point. Especially since the Undertale hype seems to have died down a bit by now, so the rabbit fanbase will be right at my gates to rip me apart, and I haven't played Undertale since finishing the pacifist route about two years ago. When I was working on this comic, I was also playing that particular route, so that could be an underlying cause of the ripoff issue. So I might be able to see past that and work this into something entirely mine. After all, I already said this was just a rough first concept and it looked so much like Undertale because the concept is pretty similar and there was little more development behind it thus far that would have made it more unique. I shouldn't have stopped working on it so quickly, honestly. I should have given it a chance to grow into something of its own, so... This one is definitely on the shelf of projects I might continue working on one day. Who knows what might happen? I mean, the only downside will probably be that you guys will already know about the big reveal, if you even remember the time this comic actually comes out. It will be a while, if ever. And by a while, I mean not any time before 2020 at least. I've got a novel series and a webcomic I've got to finish first, and then some. <laughs> I've got so much shit to do, and I don't do any of it, ever. Anyways guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video despite its shortness, because the lower amount of watch time is dealing some serious blows to my channel, but I'll keep on at it. Because if I were only in it for the money, I never would have done this in the first place, which is ironic because I'm basically about to ask you for money. As always, you can support me on Patreon or Ko-fi, buy a commission or a print from my print shop, or something else fun like a sticker from my Redbubble. Links are on my channel banner and in my video descriptions, and of course, fan art is always welcome. And of course, if you want your art or OC reviewed, watch me on DeviantArt or follow me on Twitter so you're the first to know when it's time. And I'll see you all in the next video.